Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel where I show you guys how to get that high-end look on a budget. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily achieve that fall designer look in your home. A lot of these ideas are super easy, very inexpensive, and some are even free. I don't typically like my fall decor to be too themey or over the top festive, but I do just like it to feel like fall is giving my space a nice warm hug. You know what I mean? And now I know we are a little early here. YouTubers do rush the seasons, I do know that. But let me tell you guys, if I get this video out when it's actually fall, all of the fall stuff will be sold out. Just trying to get ahead of the game. And you know, we all like fall, so let's just go for it. So anyway, today I'm gonna show you guys my favorite tips and tricks for transforming your space into a super cozy, festive, and classy place for fall. So without further ado, let's start decorating for autumn. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a pretty neutral color palette to start out with in most of my rooms throughout my home. So this makes it really easy and fun to kind of just shift the color palette a little bit with some moodier tones. And I like to add punches of rust, maroon, and muted oranges to my space for fall. And this is really fun because it stands out against the neutral backdrop that I have. And I made most of my decor neutral in tone intentionally because it just makes it really easy to switch things up when you want to have a little bit of of a refresh. So one of my favorite places to start when it comes for decorating for the seasons is swapping out my framed artwork. And doing this really provides a good impactful mood swap for your space, provides a good base for the rest of your decor, and switching out your framed artwork is so inexpensive and easy. And a lot of you guys asked how I turned this photo from Big Sur into a faux oil painting, and that one I did on Photoshop, but today I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial on how I transformed some of my fall photos into faux oil paintings using an app that's super quick and user-friendly. I just feel like turning your photos into faux oil paintings really adds to that fall ambiance because oil paintings are usually very cozy and emit that charming vintage feel, which really adds to that kind of like cozy warm tone that we are going for here. So I just picked out some sentimental photos from my travels that had some fall colors and tones. And as you guys can see, this one that I took in Santorini isn't even in a fall setting, but I think it really works because of the orange tones within it. And my home also has some elements of coastal. So I think this image really helps stick with that, but still lets me change up the color palette a little bit and just warms up my space and it will help tie in other fall color decor and just make it seem very intentional. So this next photo is actually a picture that I took in Jackson Hole, Wyoming last fall. And I usually get all of my photos printed via mpex.com. I will link them below. I just think that they have a really great print quality and a fair price and their website is pretty user friendly. But if you wanna go the cheap route, you could just print these images on your home computer. It's free and you typically can't even tell it's printed on paper once it's in the frame. So in order to make a picture you have into an oil painting, all you need to do is download the Picasso app and upload your photo or photos to it. So this was the photo I started with of Santorini and from there you can just choose a bunch of different styles with different tones or different styles of brush strokes. So it's kind of fun going through these and picking which one suits your space the best. Um, it depends on the picture you're starting with but I really like oil 11 usually because of the exaggerated brush strokes. This app will also create a watercolor effect for your photo as well if oil paintings aren't your thing but sometimes the colors can be a bit vibrant for my liking so Sometimes what I will do once I have exported my painting is go into the iPhone editor and just bring down the saturation a tiny bit. So this just makes the colors a bit more neutral and not quite as loud, which I personally like the look of in my decor. So now that we have our artwork all swapped out, I just wanted to add a couple of subtle decorative elements to top it all off. And I have this decorative bowl of faux limes on my kitchen counter, which I feel like just keeps my space looking really clean and fresh in the spring and summer months, but I wanted to swap it out with something more festive for fall. So something that I think is really cute and fun while still feeling very natural is dried orange slices. And I'm seeing these all over Pinterest right now. And I got lucky because I saw a bag of them the other day at my TJ Maxx, but I will link some similar ones below as well. This one specifically had some dried apples in there which I felt like was very odd of appropriate as well and it was only ten dollars so I snagged her up so then I just took my limes out and I put them in storage for next year and added my little dried fruit filler and just so you guys know you can also DIY these but I figured ten dollars was a good price so I just bought mine but just know that is a cheap option as well and could be a fun project to do with girlfriends or kids or something like that 
So this filler was really pretty, but after looking at it, I just felt like it needed a little bit of something extra. So I was able to find these pumpkins that I thought were really cute at TJ Maxx. I like how they were made from like a natural looking material. So it kept my space feeling very down to earth and very neutral and it wasn't like too over the top festive. So I just kind of nestled some of those in there. And I really like this because I feel like it kind of gave this filler some dimension and made it just a bit more festive and decorative. This was a nice addition to my fall decor because I really like the muted rusty oranges. So it keeps everything looking very natural. And I think the addition of the little rattan pumpkins as a nice neutral punch and also just tides in the rest of the neutral tones throughout my home. Okay, so next it's no secret that switching out your floral stems and greenery is a must do for fall decor. And I personally like to swap out my greenery for dried stems and florals because it actually is a real plant. So not only does it look high quality, but you don't have to deal with the hassle of taking care of it. And they are typically pretty inexpensive. I got a couple of my stems from A Floral and Michaels, which I will link below, but the rest are all from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. And both of those stores have gorgeous dried florals for amazingly cheap prices and both stores currently have a great selection both times I've gone in there so if you are in need of some dried florals I would definitely check them out sooner rather than later for my first dried floral arrangement, I paired together these three stems. I loved the color combo and the red and the white are from A Floral and the green is from TJ Maxx. I really love the look of these red ones, but full disclosure, they do kind of smell funky. I think it's the stuff they use to preserve them, just so you guys know. So when using big vases for floral arrangements, I always like to place a smaller vase or jar inside to really give the stems some shape. And this just helps the arrangement to look a bit more professional and allows you not to have to use as many floral stems to take up a larger mouth face. So that's just a little hack that I like to use. So as you guys can see here, I'm just kind of watching the arrangement as I go, trimming the stems to size and placing them, making sure to have a good color variation throughout the arrangement. I really wanted these stems to have a really large presence since they're gonna be the statement floral piece on this wall in my living room. So I really wanted them to stand out and be super tall and fanned out and full. So once I was happy with the arrangement, I just wanted to swap out this little jug next to my larger planter to really accentuate that fall color palette and bring out some more of those red and rust tones. I also like to switch things up by swapping out my throw blankets with blankets that have subtle plaid or checked patterns. And I just feel like this makes your space feel ready for fall. When you look at the same throw blanket all year, it's kind of nice to be able to swap some things out like that that are subtle and give your space somewhat of a refresh, but not cost you a ton. Um, this one specifically was from Home Goods and it was only $20. It's super soft and was made in Portugal. If you guys haven't checked out the blankets yet at Home Goods, there are so many good ones. They're also cozy super inexpensive and have lots of different color palettes to match your space. I also saw a really cute one from Joanna Gaines Hearth and Handline at Target as well. I liked the dark colors on this one and I thought it would make a really pretty statement. Um, I know Amazon also has a bunch of good ones which I will link below as well. So a cheap way to spruce up your faux greenery is just to add a subtle pop of color to greenery that you already have. For a couple of dollars it can really transform the whole look of your arrangement while helping to work in that fall color palette and you only have to purchase a couple of stems instead of a whole new arrangement and these stems specifically are from Michaels and they were only $4.50 each. I bought two stems and I really like them because they looked very realistic and I love the pretty deep burgundy color of them. Now, I didn't want to trim these stems just in case I wanted to use them in a taller vase in the future. So a little hack I like to do is accordion fold the stems and this actually helps them stay in the arrangement really well. And then you can keep the versatility and the size in case you want to use them somewhere else in the future. So as you guys can see, I just kind of worked them into my greenery arrangement here by adjusting the stems, making sure that they were properly spread out. And that is one plus of working with faux greenery is that they're super moldable and forgiving when it comes to arranging them. These existing green stems were also from Michaels and were super affordable. I will link them below as well. But as you guys can see, by simply adding two floral stems, I think it really took this little arrangement to the next level and just added that punch of fall color in there that I'm trying to subtly spread throughout my space. All right, so next up is this really pretty dried floral arrangement that I got from TJ Maxx. It's very bouquet-like, but I just love the colors and florals in here. So I really wanted to incorporate this one somewhere where I would see it every day. So I decided on my kitchen island. 
but after placing it in my vase, I just thought it looked a little bit awkward. So I decided to add these dry stems that I got from a floral just to kind of fill it out and make it look a little bit more intentional. I love the subtle, almost wildflower look of these stems, which makes it perfect for acting as a filler. My original plan for it was to have them stand alone in one of my aged vessels, just because I love the look of them and I thought they'd be really pretty year round. Um, but I think that they look perfect incorporated here with the other dried stems and that is the best part about dried florals is that they last forever so next year I can always switch things up when the seasons change again and I just want to kind of give them new life in another spot in my home. I also swapped out this little green fern that I had from Target for this vessel that I DIY'd with some pretty dried bunny tails in it. I love bunny tails for fall. I think they're so cute and can even be used year round because they're such a casual, neutral looking stem that just really add a really pretty softness to your space. Now, the absolute cheapest way to acquire some pretty fall stems is just to go exploring outside and prune some bushes and incorporate that into your decor. So that's what I did with this pompous grass from last year. All I did was went outside with my floral clippers and pruned some pompous grass bushes that were around our apartment complex. I inspected the stems super carefully for bugs just to make sure that I wasn't bringing any into my home. And then I sprayed them really well with my favorite super strong hold hairspray big sexy hairspray i'm telling you guys this stuff is heavy duty i get mine from tj maxx or marshall's but i'll link it down below as well i think amazon sells it um but then i let them dry for a couple of hours and voila you have gorgeous statement florals that didn't cost you anything at all i currently have these in my dining room and i'm hoping to have our dining nook reveal out in the next couple of months we are just waiting very patiently on our seat cushion which is on back order now, I know I said I'm not into making things overly festive, but I do like to incorporate a classy looking pumpkin or two. So when I was at TJ Maxx, I found this cute little stone looking one for 10 bucks and I thought it would look cute popped on our little bench that we have sitting behind our couch. And this is just like a little autumn exclamation point and I think it really looks cute and finishes off the decor in our room. So another thing I love doing when the seasons change is putting out seasonal dish towels. And this year I bought a little two pack of these pumpkin ones and I also have jack-o'-lantern ones from last year. I love these Ladine dish towels because they're super cheap, neutral, absorbent, stylish, and festive. And the final thing I love to disperse around my home as the seasons change is scent. Neutral candles are great, but I love to look for candles that have subtle pops of oranges, browns, rust, and mustard tones, just because my decor is so neutral and it really is fun to incorporate pops of that fall color palette that I'm trying to disperse around my space. And I love adding these candles as little finishing accents to my style decor on trays, vases, and tables. Sand and Fog is one of my favorite brands of candles. They are so aesthetically pleasing, smell amazing, and they really are affordable. Fun fact, my mother-in-law actually went to high school with the founders of the company, which I think is kind of cool, but you can never have too many candles during the fall season in my personal opinion. I almost always have one burning, so I make sure to stock up once the fall scents hit the stores because I love my home to constantly be smelling like cinnamon, pumpkins, and pecan pie. Another way that I like to disperse scent is by using fall scented cleaning products, and these two are my absolute favorite. Like I'm telling you guys, you will want to constantly be cleaning because of how good these products smell. I always just fill up my little decorative amber spray bottle that I got on Amazon and I DIY that little label on there with my Cricut, but I just fill her up with this amazingly good smelling cleaner. And again, this is just another way to kind of switch things up and make a mundane task feel kind of fun and festive. And then obviously to complete the fall decor process, I had to give my little angel dog a cute fall bandana. These ones are super cute and cheap and they're even reversible. I will link them below. Um, but then with all my trips to TJ Maxx, I like to pick out some fall themed dog toys and just let her go at it so it feels festive and fun for all of us. 
Alright you guys, so that's really it for this video. I hope you guys kind of enjoy getting to watch me, you know, decorate my space for fall and getting it all festive and fun. It's actually only my second year ever living in a state where I actually get a fall season. So it's kind of fun to be able to, you know, actually decorate for it in a timely manner. So I hope you guys enjoyed and it kind of inspired you to spruce up your space or maybe you found some cheap and expensive ways that you can just, you know, make some fun little festive changes for the season. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like I always say I appreciate you guys so much all of your comments and kind support on my channel it really does mean a lot so thank you guys again so much for that and I will see you all in my next video bye